Hi guys, um, just uh, giving you a bit of an update on the um, uh, issues that are going on around Cherbourg. Basically, uh, I've taken you to a wind map at the moment, and I've got it on pause. It's an automated one. Uh, I have it on pause, and uh, you can see England there, uh, basically, and uh, Cherbourg. I'm just zooming in on Cherbourg. Uh, it's not a very good map, this, but you can see the winds. And you see they're actually at the moment they're coming in from the west they're heading down and into north germany uh, the winds from france seem to be going south and basically they're heading down through towards north africa they're coming back up and they come back up this way uh, they're coming back up this way hitting ireland uh, that's the next bit of projection for a while anyway, and then basically heading on into Germany uh, in a strong westerly pattern, uh, maybe even a little bit up there as you can see towards Denmark it's hitting some sort of front so it's moving up to the north a little bit. Um, so that's the wind patterns around there. Um, I'm going to very quickly take us to this map which uh, if I pull back a little bit is uh, the Atlantic and I just wanted to quickly show you this uh, because uh, basically the winds from the left there which are America are uh, generally coming out um, and they are heading kind of north uh, they're coming into that sort of storm center there uh, basically there's a, there's a lot of mix-up going on here with these these ones um, but generally, once they get going into that northern part there, where that big storm is, they get pulled that way. Then there's a straight channel between those two, two storm fronts heading to uh, Ireland and England. Uh, and that system seems to be, as it comes in, as that storm comes in, it's going to push down this, uh, this uh, circular. It's, it's already pulling it away, I think, actually. It's starting to disappear. Um, we will be getting the tail ends, um, uh, uh, but at the moment it's Spain uh, that's getting it, and, and France, the whole of France is getting it now. Um, right, so with that, um, I was going to say also while I'm here, I was just going to point you to this, uh, this here, which is uh, Plymouth Nuke Plant goes online after shutdown. I was mentioning on my other videos about contamination from uh, Europe, uh, from France and some inconsistencies with monitors. Um, but Friday, December 30th, 2011, uh, it says Plymouth Energy Corp says its Pilgrim nuclear power plant in Plymouth, Massachusetts has resumed generating electricity after a small leak of radioactive steam and a safety valve forced officials to shut it down and it's being gradually raised back to full capacity over the weekend and it's chugging away merrily now um, and uh, maybe we have uh, some issues with that but uh, I just thought I'd bring that in uh, for my next thing I want to quickly go to your depth and just show you the month uh, of what has been going on in the European area and, uh, and some very highlighted places there uh, and then I was going to go to now this is I'll just take you up there this is the 17th of the 2nd and it's about 1.40pm in the morning uh, and I think that's European Standard Time uh, basically uh, we're on uh, sorry T Gamma uh, I've got it on last value uh, and I just brought it down from 24 hours to 12 just to show you that France and Spain, Tenerife, Azores are all switched off for the last 12 hours. Now, uh, we, also Italy, Germany has kept theirs on. Um, obviously the winds have changed, you can see UK is all green and bubbly. Um, I've been getting some crazy things, I'm going to stick those uh, with, I've got a video to put on here. Uh, and some of my other videos have been crazy. Um, there has been some issues with the videos being banned in certain countries, uh, but we're getting uh, pulses at the moment. Um, as of this date, we've been getting pulses every 10 minutes 
high peaks of up to 0.5 microsieverts. That's the highest one I've seen. Uh, I've seen a lot above 0.2 and 3, going up to 0.33, 0.37 uh, every 10 minutes. Uh, I uh, did a run around London earlier and that's what I was getting. I also, uh, and I'm going to post with this uh, a little video uh, off uh, and some between peaks basically. Uh, just before that uh, video I got a 0.29 peak and just after that video, uh, literally uh, 30 seconds as I was driving away, uh, I got a 0 0.50 peak. Um, crazy stuff, crazy stuff here in the UK. Um, I have to say it was spitting rain again. So I think it's the rain, um, but it's also the air. Um, but the rain may have brought this uh, 0.5 peak and the 0.42 peak I picked up. Uh, uh, that was just crazy stuff. Uh, that was Westminster Bridge and uh, the video is from uh, Big Ben, uh, Westminster uh, Square. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with it. Uh, take care, guys. Uh, a lot to bear in mind. Um, the uh, issues in France, whether it's Catanorm or uh, whether it's uh, Rancher or Sherbrooke, uh, there's definitely issues there.